All right, guys, we're just tuning in here again. It's my friend Ryan Fowler from RyanFowler'sGuitarExperience.com. We're now working together online, so if you want to buy really nice boutique gear from a really good company, a really good guy that really knows their stuff, on GuitarGate, go to the top, there's a store button, and you'll get a link to his site with coupon codes to 10% off of anything in the store and free shipping on new and used gear. And in addition to that, too, you know, I mean, one of the one of the plugs we always do for our shop is that we, we want to communicate that we're a, a pro shop for pro, pro players. You but are. But that's not all that we do, too. So, you know, even for those of you that are thinking about learning guitar, maybe you've been kind of sniffing around at, at some of the, you know, Guitar Gate videos, but you haven't quite gotten there yet. You know, if, if you're ready to kind of jump into it, give us a call. I mean, even, even if you only, you know, have the budget to spend a couple of hundred bucks, we can guarantee that we'll get you the best couple hundred dollar guitar that you can buy. Yeah, I've, I've been, you know, in addition to playing guitar, I've been buying and selling guitars my entire life. It's the only job I've ever had. When I was a senior in high school, I, I started working at a guitar shop, and I'm 35 now, and it's the only thing I've ever done. And so the the experience that I have with all the different brands and all that stuff out there, we've we've tailored our selection in our store to have the best stuff at all of those price points. You really do. Because there's a, I mean, the reality of it is, if you're shopping for, you know, a 199 guitar, there's about a hundred different brands out there now in this day and age. You know, some major manufacturers and some generic brands that you've never heard of. And I've I've had my hands on most of those brands, and you know, like we we sell Ibanez guitars, and the reason we sell Ibanez guitars in that price point is because Ibanez guitars play and sound and look great for a couple of hundred bucks. Yeah. And you know, you can't say that about a lot of couple hundred dollar guitar brands. So. You know, that's something that I think is really important, too, is that we, you know, we, we make sure that we get a good piece of gear. Because, you know, every every guitar player knows there's nothing worse than having a guitar that you don't like to play. Yeah, and one that fights you too much. I like yeah. a little fight, but not too much. A little fight, yeah. A little fight's okay. Yeah, but just you to don't, keep it honest. Yeah, but you don't, you know, you don't, want, you don't want your fingers to be bleeding when you're just learning your first C chord. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. And just one other thing I want to make sure people know that, you know, you, you guys carry stuff that other people don't. Yes. Especially pedals. You got a lot of great used gears and amps too. Every time I come in your shore, your store, I see stuff that I don't see at all the big chains. Yeah, and and that's the you know, and that's really the focus for us. I mean, my my passion is you know, it, for my gear, my passion is high end boutique gears. Yeah. You know, I've, I'm I've been fortunate enough. You know, uh, our our friends over at Paul Reed Smith um, have been taking care of my band, and I've been buying and selling their guitars for many many years. Uh, I know that they have a great partnership with Guitargate as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm super fortunate. They they truly believe in you know education, especially online education. I'm super thankful that they support what I'm doing here. I feel you. Yeah, and, they're and, good people. Yeah, and it's the same thing for us. I mean, you know, when I when I uh, you know I worked for a big national chain store for about 13 years, and when I finally decided that it was time for me to you know go out and own my own business, uh, Pete, Paul, and and you know Jim and all the guys at PRS were just as supportive as they possibly could have been. I mean, it was, it was the kind of thing where, you know, I, I was able to, you know, kind of work my way in and become a dealer. And, you know, now I'm proud to say that that was about two and a half years ago. And, you know, we're, we're probably one of the larger Paul Reed Smith dealers in the country now, you know, just in that short period of time. That's and, awesome. And that would have that would never happened without the support and the, you know, the understanding and the, the guidelines of Paul and, the you know, the folks over there. Yeah. All right, guys, so long story short here, you know, he has got a great selection. It's a great store, and you really do have better PRS stuff than I see anywhere around town for sure. Yeah, I mean, you, it's, re it's, you really do. If you walk into my shop, you, the first thing you'll notice is people go like, "Well, that's a lot of Paul Reed Smiths." I'm like, "Yeah, I, I kind of have a, yeah, it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of my thing." It's kind of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, plays with Kelly Bell Band around town, and if you want to get, um, if you want to get a good deal on great gear, go to guitar8.com, hit the store, get ten percent off, free shipping on new and used gear. And or you can just call him; he'll help you out. He's yeah, a great guy. He knows what he's talking about. And 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 for those of you that would like a you know a more personal you know phone call type of experience, please be sure to mention Guitar Gate as well, so that we know to get you that same deal that you can get online. Gotcha. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for coming over. Awesome. So so one thing I wanted to ask you before we before we go away, since uh, you know I'm sure that we have some of our uh, folks from our website on here as well, is sure. What are some of the things you can learn on Guitar Gate? So the thing that makes GuitarGate different than as opposed to what you typically find on YouTube and what you typically find on other guitar lessons online is that instead of learning this is how you play this song, this is how you play this lick, um, I really try to get people to learn the why behind the notes. And so why chords and scales go together, what different intervals you know, sound like over different chords so that 
once you get a feeling of what your options are, you kind of know how you can get the stuff in your head out. Because one of the main challenges that we have, especially with guitar players, is like, you know, we'll listen to something and we'll hear something in our head first. And I always had lots of trouble before I started learning music theory and started really getting into it, getting that stuff to actually come out of my fingers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, it wasn't always that hard to say, okay, I hear that Albert King lick, you know, and you know that... Right. You know what I mean? But as far as, like, the stuff that, you know, is coming from you inside, you know, like, where you kind of hear a melody, being able to put that together, I always found to be very challenging. And so what I do with my students and online is kind of take, like, a step-by-step -step approach of, you know, these are the building blocks, this is how things build on top of each other, and basically give you all the different options that you have as an improviser and a songwriter, and then show you how you can put those pieces together to you know, improvise and feel comfortable in any style of music, in any genre. So it's not like you come here to take country lessons, or right. you come here to take rock lessons. It is what I call a practical application of music theory. Yeah, and I, I think that's that's something that's really interesting because, you know, I don't know if you realize this, but you and I have similar musical backgrounds in that we don't come from musical families. I, I, I don't. I, yeah, so I, I noticed that in one of your videos where you talked about how you did not have a music background Zero, before yeah. you started playing guitar. And I'm the same way. Like, I, you know, I, I have great memories of, like, my grandfather playing the fiddle or the harmonica when I was a kid. That's cool. Which was cool, but he wasn't a professional player. It was like, you know, we get him to drag it out of the closet once in a while and he played Pop Goes the Weasel or something. <laughs> you, know, and, 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 you know, in his day, I think he was a really good fiddle player, but that was, uh, you know, a little bit before I, I can remember at least. And so my parents, you know, I got a great love for music from my parents. My parents didn't play music, so when I wanted to, you know, play the cello when I was nine... My parents didn't know anything about playing an instrument, so they, you know, I got into the elementary school thing, and then I started playing guitar a few years, years, uh, years later. But uh, you know, it's it's just one of those things where I, I kind of came from nothing, and I, I thought that that was really cool when I saw that video where you talked about that as well, because you know you didn't have that, you know, I, I know people who's like their parents play guitar, right. and you know their grandparents play guitar or another instrument, and you know those guys usually become great players, but. The, the big takeaway is that you can become a great player from nothing. You don't need a musical background to, to become a good guitar player. It's true. And one thing I like to add in this type of conversation is that um, you know, everybody always thinks that, you know, I have bad ears. You know, like I can't, I can't tell this from that and the other. And, you know, some people are just really gifted, like can really just hear some, really well. Yes. And they and, really, really... And they, there is a natural gift to some guitar playing. Absolutely. There is, but you don't need that. I, I was not born with good ears at all, you yeah. know? But, and I found that, you know, starting from the beginning, making sure that you have a solid foundation, you understand this is a third, this is a fifth, this yeah. is a sixth, and taking the time to put all that together, you can develop everything you need to be an extremely expressive and emotive musician, you know, an improviser and feel confident without coming from a musical background, without having a really good ear, without having huge hands, you know, yeah, all and, that stuff. Yeah, and, and I, I think that that's really important because, you know, I mean, you know, if you look at my hands, I've got like these these big, fat, short, stubby fingers. I have pretty short fingers. And, yeah, I mean, you know, so and, and, you know, people always talk about, like, it's one of the big misnomers with learning guitar is they talk about, oh, my hands are too small, my hands are too big. You know, I, I, I don't, you know, I, I, I'm tone deaf, whatever. None of that matters when it comes to playing guitar. It's and, so true, man. And, and the, other thing that, the other thing that I think is, <laughs> is really, really important, uh, you know, for people that are thinking about learning guitar is that, you know, not, not everybody's a professional. You know, right. like, like I'm, you know I, I, I play golf with my friends on the weekend sometimes. I'm an awful, but you have fun out golfer, there. but I have a great time playing golf. Right. And, and guitar can be like that, too. You don't, you don't have to be able to play like you know, some guitar guy that you've worshipped your whole life, to be able to pick a guitar up and sit down on your couch or sit on your porch or jam fun. with some buddies and have fun. Yeah. There's some really basic building blocks that you can get out of even just a couple of lessons, you know, from GuitarGate. It's true. That will, you know, give you that knowledge to just be able to kind of hang.